it's been over 200 days, but finally, I guess our prayers have been answered, and uh, Big Daddy Nintendo decided to throw a Nintendo Direct Mini at us, so without further ado, let's get into it. <sighs> Please let there be Breath of the Wild 2 news. So other information presented in this video are subject change for potential those on, yeah, okay. Sounds about right. I'm guessing that was to be expected. Oh, okay, please. Long ago, two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. The titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, Xenoblade? only their lifeless corpses remained. Jimmy? Yep. Never played, so I don't know. Huh? In the sky! This can't be! No way. It's a... Macon! Commence the assault on Vionis. The Monado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just unlock the Monado's power. It's my turn! Shulk! No! It'll kill you! Shulk! There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. I've been waiting for you, Monado boy. The future I see, it isn't set. Father! So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Mekon. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. May 29th. Pretty cool. See, I might pick up Xenoblade because I've never played it. And, I mean, the team helped make Breath of the Wild Future Connected. Is that a new one? Oh, this is pretty. If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Pretty neat. The ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. And some of the music has been re-recorded. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. And a new epilogue, a new story, Future Connected will cap off the main game. So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th, and you can pre-purchase the game Pretty starting cool. today. Also coming on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 200 <laughs> I thought that was a Switch for a second. I'm like, damn, they're really going all out with these special editions. That's still pretty cool, though. Hi everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Hell now, yeah. let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Makes me nervous about Breath of the Wild, honestly. Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Borderlands. Oh, really? Oh shit, but, oh, I was right. Holy shit. 
Bioshock though. Fuck, that's awesome. All three. That's fucking. That's awesome. That's fucking rad, man. Infinite's a fucking amazing game. That on the Switch is. That's that's awesome. Legendary cat. It's Christ. Which Borderlands? It's a legendary collection, so I'm assuming maybe one and two. <laughs> no! I've not played Borderlands in so long. XCOM. Ooh, people are gonna be happy about that. They all look about to be as expected quality-wise for the Switch versions. Bioshock looks really good on it, though, honestly. Borderlands doesn't look too rough. XCOM, I don't know. It's a little gray around the edges, it looks like. They're early in development. Dude. Chill. My cat's going fucking haywire. Old enemies face off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order Expansion Pass. You so-called heroes have filled this world too many times. You are no match for Doom's power. I really couldn't care less about this game, I guess. They keep showing... I feel like this game should have been out by now. We've seen stuff on this game for like what feels like two years. Maybe it has been two years, I don't know. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. Chinseke. You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea exploration game, you'll collect resources to upgrade your gear, craft items, and dive deeper into the abyss. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shinsekai's time attack mode, Another Dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can that's be pretty, pretty fucking cool. There, so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix I the like game's this. background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth hidden oh, beneath so the cool. ocean's surface. When Shinsekai into the depths oh wow, it's available now. Switch today. That's pretty neat. I like that. Hey. Deserted island life oh. Thanks to this free update. I've been sinking so much time in Animal Crossing. Enjoying island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Well, whether you're already living it up on the island or you're still planning your departure, there's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. I like it. Can you hunt the down Easter the event? Zipper head everywhere? It's an Easter event. It's cute. I like it a lot. Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. This looks exactly like my girlfriend's villager. This time from April 1st to April 12th. So be sure to participate. So cool, and man. Guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. Ooh. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of Hell course, yeah. We'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account and other channels too. So, stay oh, tuned. Man, it's come. That's what I'm going to be doing mostly we today. Hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Animal Crossing is such a time sink, uh, but it's so good.
Hey, look, someone's hiring. Oh, this is your dad's company? Apparently Refrain from making unemployment jokes. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items, mop the floor, and maintain a comfortable work environment. This reminds me of a lot of like Overcooked. They're trusting you with crane operation <laughs> and other tough tasks. Oof. Uh-oh. That projector won't do. Hmm. Think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, do what you need to do to get the job Oh, this done. looks really fun, actually. This looks insanely fun. <laughs> Hopefully you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately because good job launches today. That looked a lot, that looked like a lot of fun actually really I really like that. Catherine, full body, the mature oh shit. puzzler is coming to Nintendo Switch. Really? Contemplating the next step in his relationship, commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Looks like poor Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine. Catherine with a C and then Rin. Little does he know. What about Quathrin with the Q? In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive and see another day. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense, and intoxicating story when Catherine Full Body releases on Nintendo Switch July 7th. Damn. A Good ports, man. The Refit Adventure game will pump up its audio. Pump up the jams. Pump it up. They made up with the new rhythm game mode. They made it into Beat Saber. Score, you gotta get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, that's actually really smart. Game. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2. Oh, I would have got Breath of the Wild. Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. On top of that. A new story oh, mode. Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Nicely done. Move. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. We're also get adding angrily screamed at by a German lady. And quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. I feel like this these free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. I feel like the that is going to be the rhythm game especially is going to be a big big thing. Better open the gates. One treasured TRPG approaches. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing uh -huh. the evolution of western RPGs. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your choices matter more than ever. And so does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the land, you'll meet new people Is that Arthur Dane? are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the game will obscure get. reference, I don't when know. When King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch, in 2020. Pretty cool. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate News approaches. Sakurai. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC will be... Joining the battle from arms. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. <laughs> stay tuned for just a bit longer. The next fighter will be announced and released this June. Sorry, Smash Bros. friends. 
France? Jesus. Don't miss this arms game trial. Man, they really want you to play arms. A free game trial of arms will be available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. These elite fighting superstars share one thing in common, extendable arms. So equip super powered arms they to really, a slew of combinations. They really want you for to play arms. Time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, let's get stretchy. Feeling good? Well, all right. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2? Ah, man. Well, I'm not a, I'm not opposed. Where, where am I? Can't believe I survived. Water, wind, earth, nature's masters, the great stone's power. This looks so good. The hand of man. And if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. This is the crystal's blessing. Don't swear the details, eh? And don't stand on ceremony either. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. Okay. Now what are we going to learn about it? This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. I like the art. Claim the crystals? You do not know that. Like the sketches are really pretty. He also encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book, Elvis and Adele. I've a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends or anything. I'm just here because wonder where they got the names. As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. Holy fucking These neck. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage, becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Okay, let's do this. I shall steal it all. Every last treasure in the empire. During battle, you must decide when to use Brave Points, or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the Brave and Default commands. Choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Choose Default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. Hmm. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Jobs can be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options. And hmm. influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> I'll take that. Now for a little announcement. A demo version of the hey, game nice. will launch today. And in the near future, we'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. We hope you'll participate. The latest entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. Nice. Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a-moving. 
tabletop classics from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Heron Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, Chess, Shogi, Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Takoyaki Spider is Solitaire, disgusting. Tomoku, matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew! That really is 51 games. And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people. Playing That's via local cool. wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Nice. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th. I mean... Pre-purchase begins today. I guess. I mean, it's... it's yeah. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Sprint across stages. And show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. Yo, is this is this just Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker? You can dash at high speeds. I feel like this is just Shinobi Striker. And wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo-yos. Your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. I feel like you just thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas. This are just most reminds me a lot. Work together. Of uh, Shinobi Striker and Splatoon. In disaster, or prove you're the master when Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch May 27th. And hey, it's free to play too. Oh, nice. Well, there you go. Check out what you can play on Nintendo Switch. Oh Lord, Sizzle Enter Reel. Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. Customize your look, play a role in this Star Wars story, and battle online with up to 16 players. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. And get ready to strap in because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. In this remade Dragon Rider Dragoon. Classic, you'll pilot the Blue Dragon through incredible landscapes, battling giant creatures and lethal battleships, using 360-degree controls and lock-on targeting. It's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Nice. There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. Show me some Breath of the Wild, please. Saints Row. Wouldn't have expected that, but 
I saw the legend of and got really excited. Minecraft Dungeons, nice. Minecraft Dungeons looks like a lot of fun. Well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. This is our last news of the day. Please, Breath of the Wild. Something. Something. Now oh. for the latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Bummer. Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Galar region. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about part one, the Isle of Armor. When is it releasing? On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon, Cub Fu from the Master, Mustard. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn Single Strike style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn Rapid Strike style. Dark or Water, the choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, let's take a look at each Pokémon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G-Max Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves. And when used, oh, the really? abilities have no effect when they're attacking. Really now. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1 the End of, Isle of Armor, will launch by the end I thought of that June. was supposed to come out in spring. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during Max Raid Battles in the Wild Area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Battle with other trainers to take on Rip. this challenge together. They really put Charizard out there on Shield. That's all for Rip. today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. Uh, I mean, it's a mini, so I can't be too upset. I mean, I think uh, Bioshock is uh, probably my biggest takeaway from this, honestly. I mean, yeah, it, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, fairly good overall. I mean, it was some, um, I don't know, it was very, very needed. Um, cause it'd been over 200 days since the last Nintendo Direct, but I don't know. Uh, I guess they're saving all the big guns for the, the June Direct, um, or the E3 Direct, whatever it's going to be now that E3 is canceled. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this was, this was, it is what it was. Nothing too groundbreaking, um, which is 
kind of disappointing but at the same time it's just a mini so i guess that's to be expected but yeah anyways that's going to do it for this one guys thanks so much for watching and uh i'll see you in the next one